Hey there everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we are going to be going backwards and we're going to be working with a kit that isn't actually available anymore. This is the My Monthly Hero kit from May 2021, but I did want to show it to you and maybe you've got something in your stash that's similar or maybe you have this set. Uh, this is what this little kit came with. It came with that set of stamps and dies. You also got a couple of ink pads, like a light contour gray and then a black intense black ink that does work with Copics and then there was an embossing powder in there as well it's an underwater embossing powder and then you did get some paper that was cut down to five and a half by eight and a half inches a couple of cream pearlescent pink pearlescent and then three pieces that had like this striped texture to it so it's pretty cool I'm going to take two of those that had the striped texture and I'm going to score those at four and a quarter inches we're going to make a trifold card and to do this, I was I plan to use two pieces of cardstock. So we've got those ready. This is how they're going to go together, and then they'll open up trifold. I want to use that embossing powder on here, so I've pulled out some heffy tape, and I am going to just use an embossing ink. This is the uh, Juicy Embossing Ink by Ink on 3. I'll cover that whole front panel. And the reason I put the heffy tape down is I don't want that embossing powder going over past the front panel. And so I'm just covering that with all that embossing powder and then I'll just push away any extra. This does have some chunky bits in it. So in order to heat this up, I'm going to start from the back. If I start from the back and get this started melting and then come to the front, it's so much easier. And then you don't have some of those chunky bits kind of jumping off of there. So that's what that's going to look like by the time I'm done. It's kind of, I mean, it's actually really, really pretty. And then I'm folding those, you know, kind of show, seeing how those will go together. It really, in the end, wouldn't matter which side you did this to. You could just turn it upside down if you needed to. But I'm going to do it to the other panel as well, so that when I open up the front part, that second panel will have this all over it as well. Sort of like an underwater scene. Which makes sense since we're using the underwater embossing powder. So once those are all heated and everything, they will warp a little bit, but that's okay. You can stack some books on it or just kind of you know, move the paper back and forth and you can work with it. I have a piece of Express It cardstock that I've put into my Misty. I've put down the stamps that I plan to use and then I'm pulling out that Intense Black Ink by Hero Arts and inking up each of those stamps and then I'm just going to stamp that down using the door of the Misty. To save a little time, I'm not going to show you all of the coloring because there was quite a bit of it, uh, as you can tell, but I'm using my Copic markers. So any alcohol markers would work. And the ones I am going to show you, I will put the caps up on the top of the screen, uh, if I remember to, I think. But I wanted to share with you that these stamps are incredibly detailed, which makes them great for a few reasons. One, they're detailed, so it's really neat. And if you're into that, then this is definitely, a, um, this would have been a stamp set for you or find something similar like it. But also, that makes the coloring that much easier. Because it's so detailed, you don't need to add too much shadowing or shading to areas. So it takes some of the guesswork out of that. I am going to bring in one color, one uh, darker color for my shadowing. But honestly, these just don't require a whole lot because they are so detailed. And originally looking at this stamp set, it's a little intimidating because you're looking at, say, the anemone down there and you're thinking, oh my goodness, each of those little strands has to be colored. But honestly, it's just kind of slapping a lot of that color down. So here I'm just coloring, 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 not worrying so much about the lines until I get to the edges, which that's pretty simple too. You just use the tip of your pen and then you just bring that color in. Again, that detail makes it that much easier to have to not worry so much about adding shadowing and shading to each little piece. So try not to be intimidated when you see those super detailed stamps. That actually is doing you a favor. So I'll bring in my darker color here and I'm just flicking. I'm not worried about, you know, each individual strand of that. And you'll notice after my coloring is all done, I don't stick to like traditional colors of each of these pieces. I'm going with whatever I think they are. I had to do the little dory fish up there, sort of like dory, and of course the clownfish. Um, but otherwise, everything, I am just using just artistic license. <laughs> I wanted lots and lots of color, so you'll notice that everything has lots and lots of color. There is no right or wrong way to color these, even if these are detailed images that look realistic. So you just have fun with it. 
And then once I'm done with that, we'll tack down each of the matching dies that go with these. That is one of the cool things about these Hero Arts kits, which I'll have the Hero Arts kits linked down below where you can find them. Uh, it's such a great value. The kit itself is like $34.99, and, and it's, it's the same every month, but you always get stamps, dies, you get usually some paper, maybe some inks, like in this case, an embossing powder. So a lot of fun things in there. All right, now that everything is in, uh, cut out, I'm gonna tack down this big piece to the front of my card using some foam tape. So I peeled off all that release paper, and then I am going to stick this down on that far left-hand side. There is a reason for it. I'm gonna cut off some of that, because uh, I do want our second layer to show. I'm leaving this a pretty thick layer or a pretty thick outline, but yeah. And at first I was a little scared to do it because I thought, well, once I do it, I do it. But I'm actually quite happy with that. And then now I can consider tacking these together. So that's what that's gonna look like as a trifold. I'll pull out my liquid glue and start putting that all over the inside piece here. And that's gonna layer behind that first panel we did and has already been cut. So it will make this card a little bit thicker, but that's the fun part. You'll notice I got a little bit of ink there on that upper left hand side. I'm going to pull out my sand eraser and just erase that away. Love that thing. It's an essential. And then I'm going to start tacking down the extra pieces that I have. Now I only want this fish to show from when I have it completely closed. So everything else is going to be behind the scene. So this fish, he's going to be behind that upper piece of coral. And then everything else will just go ahead and be put down. I'm going to have the starfish hanging off the edge. And also we'll take that shell and do the same thing with that. I like doing that because it does give you the illusion that there's more going on outside of the scene that I put down. And uh, I think that's sort of fun because it really does make it seem like it's actually an underwater scene. And then we'll put our dory fish down. I had to put dory next to the clownfish because, well, you know, Nemo, right? And then I'll put our seahorse in there as well, leaving room for a sentiment. And then once those are on there, I'll do the same thing with the inside with the leftover pieces that I have. So I ended up using every, every stamped and colored image that I had and it makes for this really fun continuous scene. And then there's plenty of room to write to your recipient on the inside here. But you know me, if you watch me at all, I have to do something to the insides. <laughs> all right, I'll trim off that excess. I do notice that this has a bit of a hard time closing. So I'm gonna take my guillotine trimmer and trim off just a hair of that, that inside piece, just a hair. So it's not a whole lot. And next we'll have to stamp out our sentiments. So I've chosen your fantastic and thank you. Those are going on this piece of paper and I'm gonna trim these down later. And then on the inside, I'm going to stamp hoping to see you soon. Love that. Then I'll use that same liquid glue and tack down our sentiments on the inside panel. And also this one on the outside. I couldn't quite figure out where I wanted it, so I decided I wanted it on that far left-hand side. I will need one piece of foam tape just to make sure that it's good and secured down to the edge. And then I'll peel off that release paper. And then I'll actually grab some more glue and put that over the rest of that. And then we'll tack that down to the front. And once that's on, that's going to finish off our card. I love how this turned out. It was fun to color, fun to make, fun to just think up in my head. And there's a lot more options that I could make with this kit. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.